Hello, today we are going to read a play out of our idiom playbook called Just Because You Have a B in Your Bonnet Doesn't Mean You Can't Put Your Thinking Cap On. Melanie is in the lunchroom waiting for friends when her brother, Lawrence, sits down. Lawrence says, scoot over, Melanie. I need to talk to you. And Melanie says, I can't talk to you. Can't you talk to me tonight at home? I'm having lunch. Lawrence says, I know. Melanie says, with my friends, not with my brother. And Lawrence says, I really need you to help me before I get home. And Melanie says, why? Lawrence says, I got caught copying from someone else's assignment. Mom and dad have to meet with the principal tomorrow. And Melanie says, you did what? Melanie says, you did what? <laughs> Lawrence says, I got caught. Melanie says, I heard you, but there's nothing I can do. You shouldn't have copied. Lawrence says, but Mel. Melanie says, you got caught doing something wrong. I can't fix that. Crystal comes to the table and sits down. She is clearly very excited. Crystal says, Melanie, I have to tell you what just happened. It's unbelievable. I'm bursting at the seams. She sees Lawrence. Who are you? Lawrence says, keep your shirt on. I'm her brother. Crystal says, how rude. My shirt is none of your business. Melanie says, don't worry. He just means calm down. Crystal says, oh, okay. But I have to tell you what just happened. It's really important. Lawrence says, I think I was here first. And Melanie says, I'm not leaving until you help me. Melanie says, what do you want me to do? Lawrence says, I want you to get me out of trouble. I need a way to tell mom and dad without getting into trouble. Melanie says, Melanie, she sighs. I can't pull a rabbit out of a hat. Just because you want me to, you blew it. Mom and dad are going to be mad. You're just going to have to get into trouble. Lawrence says, I know, but maybe I can get into less trouble somehow. Put on your thinking cap. You're always full of good ideas. Crystal says, Mel, is this going to take long? I have to tell you. Lawrence says, you really have ants in your pants, don't you? Melanie says, she's just excited about something. I'll probably be excited about it too if, you get, if I get to hear what it is. Lawrence says, will you please buckle down and start thinking? Then you can get back to your lunch and that super exciting news. Melanie says, okay, look, I think the only thing that you can do is tell them the truth. Wear your heart on your sleeve when you talk to them. Be very sincere and tell them how you feel. Tell them how sorry you are. Lawrence says, boy, am I ever... That, that was dumb. I'll never do that again. Crystal can't hold her news in anymore and interrupts her conversation excitedly. Crystal says, speaking of hearts and feelings, Lawrence says, wow, you really had a bee in your bonnet, don't you? Crystal says, Scott Perez smiled at me. I was... I was by the water fountain and he walked by and he smiled at me. Lawrence says, that's it? Some kid smiled at you? Crystal says, you bet your boots. It's a very big deal. Lawrence says, I can tell. Melanie says, Lawrence, please, can you go and let me have lunch with Crystal? Lawrence says, fine, I'll see you at home. Do you think you could have one more plan up your sleeve for me by then? Melanie says, I'll work on it. Lauren says, you know that if the shoe were on the other foot, I'd help you. Melanie says, I know. I'll try to think of an extra plan. And Lauren says, thanks, sis. Now, I'll leave you two to more important matters.